Multiplication of probabilities. In multiplication of probabilities, we're considering uh, two classification of a pair of events. So we have independent events and we have dependent events. So pagka sinabi independent, independent na kapag iisa. So ibig sabihin nito, the probability of one event will not affect the probability of the other event. Or the occurrence of one event doesn't change the probability of the other event. Sa dependent events naman, so, dependent, ibig sabihin, nakadepende. Which means na, yung probability ng pangalawa, nakadepende dun sa una. Okay? So, the occurrence of one event affects the probability of the other event. So, let's consider an example here for multiplication of probability. Sa so, halimbawa, meron tayong isang box. Na, yung box natin, meron siyang isa, dalawa, tatlo. Meron siyang three red balls. And then, meron siyang dalawang blue balls. Isa, dalawa. So, example, uh, we will find out the probability na kapag bumunot ako ng dalawang beses sa box, ng dalawang bola sa box, ang mabubunot ko ay red and red. So, we will find for the probability na pag bumunot ako ng dalawang beses to sa box, makakabunot ako ng dalawang red balls. So, una, dito, lagyan natin ng with replacement. So, ibig sabihin, pag bunot natin, ibabalik natin yung binunot natin. Then, sa pangalawa naman, ganun din, we will identify the probability that if I will pick two balls from the box, I will be able to draw two red balls. So, dito naman, without replacement. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na natin ibabalik yung bola na binunot natin. In our first example, so yung probability of picking the first red ball. Okay, gawin natin red sub 1 para meron tayong palatandaan sa red sub 2. R sub 1 sa R sub 2. So, sa first example natin in Picking the first red ball. So, meron tayong 3 out of 5 probabilities. So, meron tayong 3 over 5 probabilities. So, kasi meron tayong tatlong red ball sa loob ng box na merong limang bola. So, 3 possibility out of 5 total outcomes. Then, yung probability naman to pick the second red ball, R2, is also 3 over 5. Dahil ibabalik natin eh. Diba? Pag nabunot na yung unang bola, ibabalik natin yung bola. So, magkukompleto ori silang tatlo. So, dalawang 3 over 5. So, therefore, sa independent, so this is independent events. So, pag sinabing independent, so ibig sabihin nito, the probability of the first event will not affect the probability of the second event. So, hindi naka-apekto. Para lang silang 3 over 5. So, to get the probability, we will multiply 3 over 5 times 3 over 5. So, that will be equal to 9 over 25. Tantay sa kabila. So, without replacement. So, pag binunot ko, hindi ko na ibabalik. So, let's have the probability of the first red ball. So, PR sub 1. And that will be 3 over 5. So, kaso, binunot ko na siya, hindi ko na siya binalik. So, therefore, ang probability naman ngayon ng aking second red ball ay mawawala na yung isang red ball ko kasi hindi ko na binalik. So, dalawa na lang siya. So, dalawa na lang yung probability ng second red ball ko out of four total balls inside the container. So, two over four na lang. So, eto ngayon ay tinatawag na dependent. So, this is dependent. Then, yung nauna kanina is independent. So, bakit? Kasi dependent. So, yung ating second probability, nakadepende yan sa resulta ng first probability. Kaya, dependent, nakadepende. Sa ating first example, independent. So, nakapag-iisa sila. Walang pakailam yung first probability sa second probability or vice versa. Walang pakailam yung second sa first probability. So, dito, nakadepende tayo. 
So, pag kinuha natin yung kanyang probability to pick two red balls inside the box. So, that will be 3 over 5 times 2 over 4. So, that will be equal to 6 over 20. So, that is the difference between independent events and dependent events. Okay, so again, let's go back with the difference. The probability of independent events uh, pertains to the probability of one event. So, it doesn't change the probability of the other event. While for dependent events, the probability of one event depends on the result of the other event. Okay, so let's have your example number one or problem number one. So, multiplication of probabilities and our example will be in terms of the independent events. So, example, we have two cards are drawn in succession with replacement. Binalik yung uh, baraha. What is the probability of drawing an ace on the first draw and a face card on the second draw? So, ano da yung probability na yung unang bunot ko, makakabunot ako ng alas and then ibabalik ko yon. Sa pangalawang bunot ko, makakabunot ako ng tao. So, our probability will be probability of an ace and a face card. So, A and F. So, that will be probability of A multiplied by probability of F. So, ang probability ng ace natin, so that will be 4 over 52 dahil meron tayong apat na alas out of the 52 cards. And the probability of having a face card, so that is 12 over 52, meron tayong labindalawang tao. Out of the 52 cards, so we have 12 over 52. So, pareho lang yung denominator nila na 52. Kasi hindi naman nabawasan yung baraha. Dahil ibinalik natin yung binunot natin sa unang draw natin. So, and then multiply 4 times 12. That is 48. And 52 times 52, that is 2,704. And then pag nireduce natin sa lowest term yan, so that will be 3 over 169. So paano nangyari yun? So yung 48 dinivide natin sa 16, which is the greatest common factor. 48 divided by 16, that is equal to 3. And then yung 2,704 dinivide natin sa 16, so that will be 169. So example number 2, a bag contains 5 black marbles and 5 white marbles. What is the probability of Pulling a black marbles three times in a row with replacement. So, ano daw yung probability na bubunot ako ng tatlong beses doon, makakabunot ako ng puro black marbles ng sunod-sunod. Na sa kada bunot ko, ibinabalik ko yung hole Binabalik ko yung marble na nabunot ko na. Okay, so, and that will be represented by yung ating first black marble will be represented by A. Second black marble will, will be represented by B. And ang ating third black marble will be represented by C. So, probability of the first black times probability of the second marble times probability of the third marble. So, probability of A times probability of B times probability of C. So, lahat ng marbles natin dito, meron siyang 5 over 10 probability. Diba? Kasi nga, kada bunot natin, ibinabalik natin yung marble. So, ang mangyayari dito, yung ating probability of A will be equal to 5 over 10. Ay, yung probability ng B, 5 over 10 pa rin. And probability of C is 5 over 10 pa rin. So, okay, so tandaan, yung probability ng ating first event, which is 5 over 10, will not affect the second as well as it will not affect the third. And vice versa. So, hindi sila maapektuhan. Kaya lahat sila puro 5 over 10. Kasi nga, ulit, ibinabalik natin yung hole na nabunot natin. Okay, nakabunot ka ng unang bunot, ibinalik mo. Sampu pa rin yung hole doon, lima pa rin yung black. Pumunot ka ng pangalawa, ibinalik mo ulit. Sampu pa rin yung hole doon, lima pa rin yung black. Okay, so meron tayong tatlong 5 over 10. So, 5 times 5, that is 25 times 5, that is 125 over 1,000. So, 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. One, reduce the lowest term. So, that will be 1 over 8. So, the probability of uh, pulling a black marble three times in a row from a bag containing 10 marbles is 1 over 8. Example number 3. For example number 3, we are under dependent events. So, dependent events na example number 3 natin. So, ibig sabihin nito, 
yung second probability natin will depend upon the result of the first, while the third probability will depend upon the result of the first and the second. Okay, so nakadepende sila on each other. So, same example, if a bag, bag contains 5 black marbles and 5 white marbles, what is the probability of pulling a black marbles 3 times in a row without replacement? So, ibig sabihin nun, without replacement, hindi na natin ibabalik yung ating marble. Pag nabunot, mababawasan yung marble sa loob ng bag. So, hindi na ibabalik. Okay, so that will be given as... Uh, probability of A, which is the first mal marble, so that will be 5 over 10, kasi meron kang 5 block out of total 10 marbles. Nabawasan na ng isa yung block mo, kasi binunot mo nga sa una. Ay, halimbawa, nabunot mo sa una. So that will be 4 over 9 now, for the second uh, draw. 4 over 9 ka na lang, 4 na lang yung block mo, siyam yung hole in. Siyam lahat yung total marble sa loob ng bag. Then, for the third probability, that will be 3 over 8. Tatlo na lang yung block natin, walo pa rin yung marble sa loob, uh, walo na lang yung marble sa loob ng bag. So, 5 over 10, 4 over 9, and 3 over 8. Because the probability of the first event will affect the second as well as the third. So, naapektuhan bawat isa. So, multiply. So, 5 times 4 times 3, that will be 60. And 10 times 9 times 80, that will be 720. Then, lowest term natin, so i -re reduce na sa lowest term, both numbers will be divisible by 60. 60 divided by 60 is 1, 720 divided by 60 is 12. So, the final answer will be 1 over 12. Okay, so i-compare natin yung dalawa natin. So, kanina, yung ating in-example ay with replacement. So, bumabalik yung whole end. Every time na makakabunot ka, babalik uli siya. So, lagi tayong 5 over 10 for the 3 events. So, 5 over 10, 5 over 10, 5 over 10. So, that will be equal to 1 over 8. Next example natin, example number 3 natin, without replacement naman. Hindi na bumabalik yung whole in, or hindi na ibabalik yung whole in kapag nakabunot na tayo. So, that will be 5 over 10 times 4 over 9 times 3 over 8. So... Under example number 2, so ang ating uh, probability for the first event is 50% kasi kalahati yung chance nung black marble na mabunot. For the second probability, 50% pa rin. Meron pa rin siyang kalahating chance kasi ibinalik nga natin yung nabunot na natin. Sa third probability or sa third event, meron pa rin siyang 50% chance. So 50% pa rin yung chance niya. Dahil nga, binalik nga natin. And then, for the for example, number 3. So, ang probability ng first event natin is 50% kasi kompleto pa yung ating marble sa loob ng bag. Sa pangalawa, kulang na siya. So, 44% ka na lang, which is 4 over 9. Then, sa pangatlo, mas bababa pa yung percentage niya, 38% na lang, which is 3 over 8. So, ang ibig sabihin naman for example number 3, so every time na babawasan yung ating uh, elements in our example, so bumababa yung percentage niya. So, kung kukunin natin yung probability of uh, having 3 black marbles upon uh, pulling a marble inside the bag, so meron tayong 1 over 8 or 25% probability. Okay, so 25% ang probability natin. And then, sa pangatlong example natin, or sa next example natin dito, so 1 over 12 na lang siya, 8% lang ang probability niya. So, ibig sabihin, every time na binabalik natin yung marble dito, so nagme-maintain yung probability niya. Dito naman, bababa yung probability kasi nababawasan yung chance sa anong, red, uh, anong black marble na mabunot. Okay, so look at the comparison. And then, for our practice problem, so multiplication of probability. So first problem, what is the probability of 1 to face up on the first roll of a die and 2 to face up on the second roll? So ano daw yung posibilidad na uh, lalabas yung 1 na pag nag-roll ako ng dice ng unang roll at sa pangalawang roll naman lalabas yung 2. So, with replacement ba yan or without? So, that is 
with replacement kasi hindi naman tatanggalin yung one doon pag lumabas siya kasama pa rin siya doon sa uh, possible outcome. Then for the second problem, a box contains 4 red crayons and 6 blue crayons. So meron tayong 10 crayons inside the box. So what is the probability of pulling 2 blue crayons in succession without replacement? So ano yung probability na makakabunot ako ng dalawang blue crayons doon na sa unang bunot ko hindi ko na siya ibabalik? Uh, without replacement, so that is uh, dependent events. So, yung number one ay independent, yung number two ay dependent events. So, answer the two problem here and comment your answer down in the comment box. And that will be all. See you on the next lesson.